Okay, so now we're going to do the mouth. So I'm going to switch to edge mode, and hopefully yours looks similar to mine in that you have this nice line that kind of runs around, along where the jaw would be. If yours doesn't have that, you can try to insert an edge loop. In fact, we're going to need to insert one anyways. So if you go to Mesh Tools and insert edge loop, come to here. So you want to try to insert one pretty close to the other. So that essentially think of this as the mouth. If yours looks nothing like this, you might need to check with me in class. But you also could try using the multi-cut tool. I avoid using multi-cut if I can help it, but if there's no choice, you multi-cut and you choose a vertice and you kind of click and, you know, find a place where it can connect and it'll create that line. I'm going to control Z because I don't need that for mine, but unfortunately you would have to do that all the way across the top and around into the other side. So if yours can't do that, you might need to just check with me and I'll help you get through this part. Now if you were able to make a fairly good smooth cut like mine though, then this should be pretty easy. So I'm going to hold down shift. And you know, think of a dog's jaw. Uh, probably would do that part too. And I'm just getting the top one. Okay, I'm leaving that bottom one alone for now. Okay, so that's kind of the dog's jaw. Think of that as the upper lip. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the scale tool first and I'm going to scale it out. That's the reason I added that second line because you see how when I scale it out the scale doesn't go beyond this line. If I hadn't added that second line then I would be scaling the entire jaw. So the bottom part of the jaw would also be getting bigger where I just wanted to make this get a little larger. Then I also need to use the W to kind of move it forward a little bit so that there's kind of an overlap at the lip and I'll now drag it down. Now if you go too far you'll see that, you know, like the, ver the things start to poke out. You don't want that. You just want to go down enough that this is basically my dog's jaw. So this is the lower part of the mouth and this is the upper part. Now if you press 3 on your keyboard, you'll see that it smooths out your model. You don't want to model in this smooth mode, just so you know. So, But it does show you what it looks like, which isn't very much to be honest. So I'm going to go back to 1 and look at it from below so I can get to everything. And I'm actually going to select, I could probably leave that one alone to be honest, but I'm going to select those lines that are the bottom part of the mouth. Oh. Shift, hold down shift while you do it. Okay. And I'm going to use the scale tool and I'm actually going to scale it in. Possibly need to scale it in this way a little bit. And then I can move it up a little bit. making the jaw much more pronounced. So I'll drag it up a little more. I just want to make sure I don't drag it through the top lip or anything. But now if I go to three, you can see that the jaw is a little bit more pronounced. I could certainly go more with it, but for right now I'll just leave it alone. Go back to one, and there's my jaw. Next thing we're going to do is the nose. So I'm going to go to face mode and I'm going to do the two center faces. So for me, that is just one. I almost like it better when I have four to choose from, but that's not the case with this model. It wouldn't make sense to do it that way. So I'll go ahead and I'm going to extrude it out. And it's going to be a pointy blocky nose right now. It's perfectly okay. Q to quit. Go to vertex mode and just kind of make this a little more nose shaped. So for one thing I can click on that middle one, use W, kind of pull it in so it, pull it down I should say. Then <coughs> <coughs> select this one, kind of maybe pull it back. 
use these. If you think about the shape of a dog's nose, these need to be, in fact, I'll shift click all four of these corners so that I can drag them back. And then I'll scale them as well. Scale them this way a little bit. And maybe scale them this way a little bit. Okay. Once again, it's a very pointy nose, but if you look at three, it goes to not very pointy at all. So then back to one. Now, do you notice how I've got like this sticking out thing right here? So I'm going to just shift click. Probably do it for these two lower ones as well. In fact, I'll, maybe I'll do, oh, don't want that one. That one. Actually, I should probably do the lips by themselves as I don't want to accidentally mess it up. So I can pull this back though, so that I'm kind of rounding the snout in the front anyways. And I could push it down a little bit so it curves. Okay, see how I'm curving that? Oops, and I had one I didn't mean to have selected. Though I don't mind having those selected actually for the back part. Turning, making them go back a little bit, but I don't want these selected for the whole thing. Back a little more. Then use scale, bring those back in. Maybe scale them down just a little bit. Move it down a little too. So when I look at it from different angles, I can kind of see how it curved. And I could do this for in edge mode now for kind of the rest of this. Just for the part that's kind of the muzzle, we'll deal with the eyes later. So I'll bring it in first, I think. And then down. And that looks much better for as far as the muzzle of my dog goes. Okay. I've added more edge loops, so at this point there's a few things, you know, I could look at the neck, select both of those, move that back, bring it in, round the throat out a little bit. Same thing with kind of the bottom of the jaw. I don't want it to look too blocky. W, bring it up a little. Oops, control Z, back to my selection. Drag it up. Scale it in. Just kind of be your mantra when you're working on this. Drag it up and scale it in. That's how we round things out. Okay, let's make sure to go and file save scene before we move on. All right, we're gonna do the feet now. In fact, I think I'd like to be in front mode when I do this so that I have an easier time making it even. So we're gonna insert edge loops first. So mesh tools, insert edge loop, and we're going to insert three in each foot. So if I click here on this one, if you think about this outer one, that's kind of the dog's toe, so it's a little smaller. And I'll do another one and another one so that it splits it into four faces. Then I'll do it again on the other side. So little toe on the outside and another and another. And then cue to quit. Okay. Now go back to perspective mode. Oh, and you know, I should have extruded it before I sw before I added those faces, because now I have to select. This is why you want to keep things as simple as you can. Because it, if I had done this before I added the edge loops, I would have only had to select four. Instead, I had to do four on each leg, which didn't take me too long, but still. So now I'm going to switch into all the modes so I can see, and I'll do F to zoom in on where I am. And I'm going to extrude this out. So 
You can see extrude. And I'll flatten it as much as I can. It might not be perfect. Also, as you can see, this one's good, but these ones aren't. So then I can just do Q to quit, select the back ones, and maybe do just a little rotation to... Oops, be careful, only the red one. Okay, and that'll work. So now if I look at my feet, I'm going to go into vertex mode, and I'm going to select this one, and then I skip a row, and then I get these two, and then I do the same thing on the other feet. So I do these two, and then these two, and the same thing for the back feet, so that when I move these, they'll all be exactly the same. Okay, and if you want to look at it from kind of an above view, you can see that as I click and drag these back, it's going to create kind of like claws. And I could even use scale and maybe scale them. Mm, nah, I don't like that. I'll just have to do it individually. Okay. Now, once again, planning is everything, and I'm getting ahead of myself. The if I switch to three, you know, I can look at it. It actually looks pretty good. It's still a little on the 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 claws are a little too big, so I'm gonna select these vertices on the top. And use W to kind of just move them down a little bit. And I'll check three to make sure how that looks, and it's still looking okay. Okay, so there's my dog's paws. Now if you look at your legs, you have a lot more things to work with. So if I switch to edge mode, I can now hold down shift and kind of curve my dog more. So I'm going to go all the way up the side. And I'm going to select those kind of mirrored same vertices over here. Oops. We're only get these vertical ones. That way I can use the move tool to move them forward. And then the scale tool to move them in a little bit. Actually, in this case, I might prefer to move them out. Hard to say. The forward has definitely made the biggest change, though. And then if I scale them... Yeah, make sure you don't have any... And, you know, look at it from different angles. It's giving my dog a little bit of hips, but that's actually okay. Okay, so then I can do the same thing for the inner part of the legs. Select these both sides, move them forward, and then I'll scale these ones in a little, oops, wrong direction, in. Okay, doesn't do much, just a little bit of, you know, if you look at it from the bottom, you can kind of get a better idea of what it's looking like, how it's curving it. So these ones are all square. These ones have a slightly more round look to them now. So now I'll do the same thing with this. Well, and actually I have this part of the leg to do too. So you do have four directions on each leg, so it's definitely a... Oops, well, I wasn't holding down shift. Okay, so you take a minute and do this for each of the legs. When we start recording again, I'm going to assume that you've smoothed out the legs as much as you can. Remember, I'm just moving them back a little bit and then scaling them in. So do that for each side. So I need to do it on the inside of these legs and I need to do the inside of these in both sides. So good luck.